The air outside might be chilly, but we're sharing some food that will warm you up. We're talking in curry and tandoori chicken and tikka masala and mm. authentic Indian dishes packed with flavor. That's right. Michelle Oliver is taking us to Noor Rajan Indian Grill in Gross Point Park to dine in the D. Serving up sautéed rice dishes, curries packed with flavor, and marinated chicken that's been deliciously char-grilled is basically a family tradition for Saeed Mutahir. My dad, who inspired me to get into the Indian restaurant because he was in England for a long time. Indian food is really popular back there. I get into 2011. My first uh, Indian restaurant is Royal Bengal. But at the time, many people were unfamiliar with Indian food. Like I have a food set up in front of customer and no one even touch because they don't know how to use the fork and knife to get those food. I always believe my mom name is very good luck for me and her name is Nur Jahan. This name meaning is light of the world. Start my second location as a uh, name of Nur Jahan, like her name. And the name really did bring him good luck because shortly after opening the first Nur Jahan, they were so busy they needed to expand. How often do you come here? Five days after we. It's the food and the service, you know, and the people. And then after I opened this location during the pandemic when everything is, was closed in this neighborhood, we get more well known. Right now we have like four locations. They all serve up the same great food using family recipes and a traditional tandoori oven. Not a lot of Indian restaurants have the tandoori, the actual tandoori oven in it. These are clay oven uh, which uh, use open fire to cook. Uh, everything is made from scratch here, that's for sure. Well, this is a beautiful spread of food, so let's get into the menu, and we're going to start with the appetizers. So they have two different types of samosas, which are filled with ground lamb, or you have this one, which is vegetarian, made with mashed potatoes, peas, and onions. They also have this chicken pakora, which is like a chicken fritter. It's served with four different types of chutneys, which you can dip them in. If this is your first time trying Indian food, I would recommend the chicken tikka masala. It's probably their most popular dish. It's very rich and creamy. It's filled with chicken, and the sauce is made with tomatoes, coconuts, almonds, and lots of paprika. They have a lot of options for vegans and vegetarians. One vegan option is this mixed vegetable curry. So it's a nice savory curry sauce covering a bunch of mixed vegetables. For the vegetarians, they have this sog paneer, which is a type of cheese. It's made in a nice creamy sauce with fresh spinach. One of my personal favorite dishes of Indian food is lamb gelfrezi. So it's lamb served with peppers and onions in a curry sauce with lots of ginger and garlic. Another really popular dish is this lamb biryani. So it is sauteed basmati rice with fresh lamb and it's served with lots of onions and cilantro on top. And finally, we have their chicken tandoori. So this is made in a very cool clay oven. It's marinated chicken and it's grilled to perfection. It's served on a bed of sauteed onions and peppers. Okay. Well, well, well what are they well. bringing for us, uh, Michelle? Well, so we got a couple of different dishes over there. So um, the one closest to you, Jason, is the chicken soup per your request, but it's done Indian style. Um, what makes it Indian style? Do you know or no? I am not entirely sure what makes that one Indian style. It smelled like it has some like of the Indian spices, kind of like the curries. Does it have a little curry in it, Jason? Yeah. I think so, yeah. I would guess. Yep. That will knock out your cold, man, if you have a little something going on. Exactly. And Tati right now is digging into the chicken tikka, yes. which is also cooked in the tandoori oven. Um, it's nice and flavorful. This one was one of my favorite dishes when I went there. This is I delicious. really enjoyed that. Oh my Especially goodness. with the onions. Put some put some sautéed onions on something, and I will love it. Mm -hmm. Jason's digging into the lamb biryani right here. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of like, I wouldn't say it's like fried rice, but it kind of gives me like Indian fried rice vibes. Mm. Um, delicious. Good. Very, Very delicious. Good. And then uh, we also have the the veggie curry. Mm -hmm. So this is a vegan dish. A lot of Indian dishes are actually naturally vegan or vegetarian. Mm -hmm. They just, they make them that way naturally. So I thought that was a really cool thing to highlight. 
Um, plus you've got some naan bread. You have, of course, the rice to dip everything in and their most popular dish, chicken tikka masala, which is the bright red one that he's going to right now. Here's the bread, the naan bread, which is phenomenal. There's some garlic naan in there mm -hmm. too, guys. Some this is the naan. garlic. You can see the <laughs> Ooh, look at that. garlic on top of it. That's the <clears throat> Don't eat that. I won't be able to sit next to you the rest of the it's show. Okay. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? No, please. <laughs> You know, Michelle, something that kind of will, maybe people may have a little fear of is the spice level at, diff at these kinds of restaurants. Do they have different spice levels? And what do you recommend for people trying Indian food for the first time? Yes, so they do have different spice levels, just kind of like at a lot of different um, restaurants. Mild is what I would recommend for newcomers. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're really into spice, they can go all the way up to Naga Spicy which is just like above, mm. that's the level above high. You have to be like in the Olympics of heat and spice tolerance to try the naga. Naga, naga, um, not gonna make it out of here without that. Yeah, naga. seriously, I'm good on that. This chicken is so good. Right? It I, is I, so delicious. It just, it's kind of addicting. So the one you're digging into, I think is kind of sweet, Jason. It's sweet like and- Sweet, okay. I've never sweet. tried this before. It's called what now? This is called chicken tikka masala. It's one of the most popular dishes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. It's sweet, creamy. It is very sweet. Yeah. I think that one, I would like that upped a little bit from the mild spice level. I think some heat would yeah. be good. Yeah, a little something, something. Yeah. Well, Michelle, where are they located? So they actually have four locations. Uh, the one I went to is on Mac and Kaju in Gross Point Park. Okay. Their first location, which is takeout only, is at Mac and Vernier. They also have a location on Woodward in Bloomfield Hills and another on Haggerty in Livernoy inside the Northville Village shopping center. Delicious. Another great find. Thanks. Michelle, thank you so much. Enjoy. Dig in. And thank you for getting me this chicken. She knew I'd like it. Yes. <laughs> it's like this one, Patati. Thank you. So if you love all things foodie related in Metro Detroit and you want restaurant recommendations and behind the scenes chats with fellow foodies, sign up for the Dine in the Deed newsletter. It's set straight to your inbox every other Thursday. To sign up, look for the newsletters tab at the top of clickondetroit.com. And you can also join our Dine in the D group on Facebook. That way you'll always be in the know to where to find the best food in Detroit. And like I always say, leave Michelle a suggestion. You never know, she might check out your spot.